talking about parenting here in uh, on Cabo Bay and LA, raising kids in America. Our uh, licensed marriage and family therapist Gail here earlier. But put together now the ingredients of coming up with great, great parenting here, which is making time, being involved and all that. And we were talking about that earlier. How do you, uh, invo how do you get involved in your kids' affairs when you barely have time for yourself? You're raising them, you're working, but, and then some parents, you know, working two, three jobs, they don't have time, unfortunately, to spend with their kids. How do you do that? I know, Rocio, you raised your, your five children practically on your own, right? Yes, yes. that's right, Janelle. Um, three years after we migrated to the United States, I lost my husband to a fatal heart ailment. So I was left with five children. How old was oh, the oldest? The oldest was, I believe, 19 or 20 years old, 19 years old, and, and the, the youngest, youngest was eight or nine. Wow, what a challenge. So, and, and it was a challenge. Well, I guess I was fortunate in the sense that at that time, you know, my mother was living with us. Mm. So, uh, and I guess the other uh, side to this circumstance was that having lost a father, I noticed that my children bonded together. They mm -hmm. became close mm -hmm. because I guess we only had each other for family. You know, we only had each other. We didn't have any relatives in the United States. So having said that, what I've done was, and I guess the priority uh, given my circumstance was to put food on the table. Yes. Right? So that was paramount, uh -huh. you know. Uh, but how do I do that with raising five kids? I have my mother, and I set established a standard whereby um, at the end of each day, at an appointed time, everybody has to gather together around the dining table. Oh. I made that a house rule. Oh. I made that house rule on myself. So no matter where I was, whether I was doing business, whether my, 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 my you know, profession was delaying me in the office, I would look at my watch and make a point of driving home so that at 7 o'clock, which was our appointed time for dinner, right. everybody gathers around the dining table and I would use that as a forum uh -huh. for an exchange. How did your day go? Right, right. Encourage communication. What about you, attorney? You're a lawyer by, by <laughs> profession and I know lawyers, they have a very, uh, very busy, very hectic schedule. How did you make it work? There's no excuse for not making time with your children. Mm -hmm. If you value them uh, more than anything else, you really have to make time for them. And mm -hmm. uh, the secret is just uh, finding some activities where you can be together. So, on like, weekend? Oh, like for instance, I already anticipated that sooner or later in their life, you might not be able to see them. Right. Especially after college. Mm -hmm. I taught my two sons how to play golf. Ah. And right now, right now, every time we, we get together, we play golf. Oh. And we enjoy each other's company. Right. And we talk uh, yeah. mentally. Uh, on all all kinds of things. Would you well, say playing. Would you say though, uh, Gail, now they're also lucky in a way because their kids are not very difficult. Because there are kids that are difficult, or do you blame it on the parents? Let's say, katulad si Rocio, pag appointed time seven o'clock. They all. What about kids who don't want to go? They would rather go out on a date, or would rather go to the mall, hang out with their friends. You know, really, Janelle, it's a relationship. And once you establish the rules of the relationship, whether it's a, a lot of people think parenting is just something that comes to you. Mm -hmm. No, parenting is something that you learn. It's a skill that you have to learn. And those are the things that what I'm hearing from the parents that they've learned. Said, which is what I would tell my clients, set a family meeting, mm -hmm. which is what we were saying, a dinner. It doesn't have to be a meeting, meeting, it but it's a dinner a time to communicate. Uh, and get involved in activities that all of you would be doing together and having fun. Right. Those are the, those are, and I like what Attorney Mora said, there is no excuse. It's a priority. You have to prioritize your kids, and it sounds to me like you all did. Mm -hmm. And how do you talk to kids that are, um, say for example, yung mga nagre-reklamo na gusto ko na lang bumalik sa Philippines, especially those if you raise them, you know, for a period of time in the Philippines and they come here, they have a problem in school? Well, that, that's, that is something that you have to be involved with them. For example, if you are having a child that would have problems in school, go to the school. Mm -hmm. Find out what you can do. Mm -hmm. Go have a talk with the, the, the child and say, oh, anong, pwede namin matulong sa'yo? Anong, anong nangyayari? Right, right. You know, I hear of Filipino kids, when they get here, they get bullied in school because of their accent, say, for example. Did you go through, did any of you go through that? Well, fortunately for me, no, I, I didn't have to go through that. Yeah, kids being bullied in school. Kids being bullied in school. 
school. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. no. And I think it's it's also uh, yeah. I, I was gonna say, Janelle, it, it is a different generation too. I think from the kids nowadays, it's also a different time where kids are having more of these problems, the bullying, as opposed to before. I think what 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Okay. So there is a much bigger. Okay, so th then we should probably uh, talk about the grandkids, uh, and that, oh. that will be a responsibility as well. We're going to be talking a little bit more on the show. Don't go away, guys. Kamusta? Ako po si Jake. Noon akong dating dito, wala namang nagsabi sa akin, ang hirap pala ng buhay sa Amerika. Lahat de oras, bugbuka sa trabaho.